may twentieth saint bernardino of siena also known as saint bernardine of siena saint bernardino was born near tuscany his father was a noble and occupied the post of governor however the little boy lost both his parents before he was seven and he was entrusted to the care of an aunt and her daughter both excellent women who gave him a religious training and loved him though he had been their own child as he grew up he was a good-looking lad and merry and entertaining that it was impossible to be dull in his company however a coarse or blasphemous remark would always bring a blush to his cheek and a sharp rebuke in fourteen hundred siena was visited by the plague of a virulent form he led a group of young men to take over the local hospital at santa maria de scala which found itself bereft of any help so fervent were these young men that they had even offered their health and life to care for the sick in fact one of bernardino's companions died he himself however escaped the contagion and returned home after the epidemic was over he soon found that his immediate duty was close at hand at home an aunt whom he was much attached had become blind as well as bedridden and he to her devoted himself as he had done to the plague stricken in the hospital after fourteen months god called the invalid to himself and it was in the arms of her nephew that she breathed her last bernardino then prayed and fasted to learn god's will for his future he soon found it by entering the franciscan order and he received the habit shortly after in siena he moved to a convent outside the city where it was more secluded here in the year 1403 he professed and here he was ordained a priest then he opened his apostolic career at milan to which he went as a complete stranger toward the end of 1417 but soon his eloquence and zeal began to attract enormous congregations this is miraculous because at first he was hampered in his delivery by hoarseness and an inability to make himself heard but afterwards as a result he firmly relieved of fervent prayer to our lady his voice became singularly clear and penetrating it is almost impossible to follow all his missionary journeys for in them he covered nearly the whole of italy he always traveled on foot preached sometimes three or four consecutive hours and often delivered several sermons on the same day in large cities he frequently had to speak from open-air pulpits because no church can contain the multitudes who crowded to hear him everywhere he went he preached penance denounced the prevalent vices and kindled popular fervor by spreading devotion to the holy name at the end of every sermon he would hold up for veneration a tablet which he had written the letters j h s surrounded by rays and after telling the people to implore god's mercy and to live in peace he would give them a blessing with the holy name in fourteen thirty he was obliged to give up his missionary work to become vicar-general of the friars of the strict observance when he started there were only three hundred friars of observance in all of italy when he died there were four thousand wherever he went on his missionary tours fervent young men were drawn to the order with which he was identified and pious persons desirous of founding convents offered to bestow them upon the observance as important as this work was he longed to return to his apostolic labors which he regarded as his true vocation in the year fourteen forty two he obtained permission from the pope to resign his office as vicar-general he then resumed his missionary journeys which led him throughout italy again he was by this time failing in health and so emaciated he looked like a skeleton but the only concession he would allow himself was the use of a donkey to convey him from one place to another though obviously dying he still continued his apostolic work and set out for naples preaching as he went he succeeded in reaching aquila but there his strength gave out and he died on the eve of the ascension may twentieth in the year fourteen forty four he had almost reached the age of sixty-four years forty-two of which he had spent as a religious his tomb at aquila was honored by many miracles and he was canonized within six years of his death